Now, let's check what happens when an error is thrown in our server actions. So we can do this by throwing an error earlier. For example, in the delete invoice, so delete invoice action, throw an error at the top of the function. Like, let's so let's go and throw an error and just to just see what, what happens. Throw new error. And you're gonna say failed to delete invoice, right? For our testing purpose, we're just gonna manually throw an error and see what's what's going on. So right now, as you can see here, it's kind of like a grayed out because we are manually throwing an error and this code is unreachable. So now when we try to delete invoice, we should see an error on localhost. So let's take a look if that's the case. So I'm gonna delete this and there you go. There's an error. So seeing these errors are helpful while developing as we can catch any potential problems early. However, we also wanna show errors to the user to avoid an abrupt failure and allow our application to continue running, right? So this is where Next.js error.tsx file comes in. So this is for development purpose, but we wanna show to users that this error happens. So how do we do that? Let's talk about that one. So the error.tsx is a special file, all right? can be used to define a UI boundary for a route segment. So it serves as a catch-all for all unexpected errors and allows us to display a fallback UI to our users. All right, so inside our dashboard invoices folder, that's gonna be here. So you see our in invoices, we have co-located our dynamic route, we co-located our create route, pages is the main page. So here, we're also going to create another file, and this is going to be called error.tsx. And this error.tsx is going to be a use client. And the reason this one is going to be use client because this is where it's going to run. It's going to show the error to the user. And we are going to, in fact, let me see if I am, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this and then we're going to talk about this. So as you can see here, use client and we are using use effect from React. These are use hook, any use hook you want to use. It has to be a client component. So, and we are creating a uh, function called error and it's going to take an error and it's going to take a reset. Error is going to be a type of error. That's an interface error that TypeScript give us. Digest is gonna have like a type of string and reset is just gonna be a function. So, and then we are going to utilize our use effect. Just, this is an optional thing just to log the error to an error reporting service. So console, we are right now just printing it out, console.error, and it's a dependency of error. So if the error happens, it's gonna run that. And it's gonna run a basic JSX to show to our uh, users. So it has a main with some tailwind class. It has something went wrong on H2 and the button. This one is basically going to call the function reset. Okay, and it's gonna say try again, save. Let's see what's this reset and this is the reset and it's just a function, right? Okay, cool. So. Reset is a function that reset the error boundary when executed. The function will try to re-render the route segment, okay? You. So let's go ahead and now we're trying to go, there you go. We are we're gonna go ahead and try to delete this. And not only we are having an error because we're in developer mode right now, we are a client also gonna see that, hey, something went wrong. And if they click, they're gonna try, they're gonna reroute re this. And then I'm gonna try it again and the same thing. Okay, that's how you tackle any type of errors, including your server errors, through a UI. Now, let's talk about, let's go ahead and let's talk about um, some other errors that users see on, the, on a very uh, often, which is 404 errors. Something's not found, what you gotta do? So another way we can handle this gracefully is by a function called not found, okay? So while error.tsx that we just created right now, so let's close this. This error.tsx file is useful for catching all errors, 
Not found can be used when you try to fetch a resource that doesn't exist. Okay, 404. But this error is going to be for all type of errors. So for an example, let's go ahead and go to navigate to this particular page. Okay. And this ID does not exist, right? This is a fake UID, UUID, this, there's no customer. So you will immediately see that this is actually an error.tsx that we just created. Kicks in because this is a child route of invoice, right? Where error.tsx uh, is defined. Anything inside invoice is going to get this error because we defined our error.tsx inside invoice route. So if you want to be more specific, so right now, this is not, this is not found. This is not actually like a server error or anything else. You want to show the, uh, show the users that this route doesn't exist. So if you want to show like a 404 error to, uh, to this, what we can do that you can confirm that the resource hasn't been found by going into your fetch invoice by ID function in data.ts and console logging the return invoice. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go back, let's go to our data here. And we wanna do fetch invoice by ID, which is right here. We are going to console log. So uh, here, try. So just before return invoice here, let's console log invoice. Now that um, we know the invoice doesn't exist in our database, let's use, so this is an empty array, as you can see here. Because we know that this invoice doesn't exist, let's use not found to handle it. So navigate to invoices ID. So we're gonna go to invoices. And here we wanna do ID, edit. And in our page .tsx, let's go ahead and import this function. And this function is going to be coming from next navigation again. Okay. And here we are just going to simply do right underneath here. We're just going to, we're going to do, do a check if not invoice, right? Then not found. I'm going to call this function. All right, so now this page will now throw an error if a specific invoice is not found to show an error UI to the user. All right, so let's go ahead and create invoices ID and edit. So co-locate, inside the edit, co-locate another file. Call this not dash found.tsx. Now this is a special file, right? Not dash found.tsx. We're gonna create this. Now this is a UI that we wanna show if there's a specific ID that is not showing. That's why we are putting this not found inside the edit with the page itself. So you, you're probably right now seeing how the file route's actually working. So if you want to affect certain things with certain files, you just co-locate that file with that. So notfound.tsx is going to only affect page.tsx right now. So here, what we're gonna do, simply, we're going to, let's go ahead and copy and paste the code, and then let's talk about this one here. You see that this is the link that we talked about earlier in our, in our tutorial. It is an anchor tag, but special anchor tag, powerful anchor tag that Nix uh, provide us. This is just an icon. Uh, so it's coming from hero icons and it's just a function that we're going to create which is looks like this so not found it's going to have a main with some tailwind it has that icon it will have an h2 of 404 not found could not and then it's actually going to it's going to have a link to go back to your uh, invoice with the back uh, go back what so, we want to do is we want to go back to just test it out and you see that 404 not found instead, instead of that error tsx that you did now it's going to show you that the resource is not found instead of other types of error 
That's something to keep in mind. Not found will take precedence over error.tsx. Okay, so you can reach out for it when you want to handle more specific errors. But other than that, error.tsx is there for you. Um, obviously, there are further reading. You can do error handling uh, with the next uh, learning. You can read about error.js, not found, not and the not dash found.js. The not found is a function and the not dash found.js is an API reference. All right, we are very, very close to completing uh, this course. Uh,